An O'Gorman High School teacher has taught different generations of students for decades now. Eric Thornton introduces us to Jane Bradfield. This week, someone you should know. Yep, there you go. And that first one, take some of it out of there. Ever since I was young, um, like very, very young, I always wanted to be a teacher. I had three little sisters and we always played school. That's good, that's good. And of course I got to be the teacher. Many years later, Jane Bradfield is still the teacher. Yeah, put some more oats on it. Uh, I don't like oats. She's starting her 45th year in a classroom at O'Gorman High School. This was the first job I applied for and Dr. Tom Lorang, um, took had some faith in me and hired this young, inexperienced teacher. Leftover dough goes back in that other kitchen. I grew up in a Catholic family. Um, you know, Catholic Church has always been very important to me throughout my lifetime. Yeah, perfect. The Hartford, South Dakota native has mainly taught business and finance and some culinary arts classes like this one. Are they good? Oh, wow. I've been blessed with amazing students and their families. You know, right now in the last few years, I've had the uh, fortune of teaching um, children of previous students. You didn't overmix it? It's always fun to tell them stories about their parents when they were in high school. Father Tony Klein, a 2012 O'Gorman grad, is one of those former students. Yeah, I had Mrs. Bradfield for personal finance my senior year. Always willing to help, uh, realizing that not everyone loved the subject matter, <laughs> but she was very patient with us. <laughs> You've got some heavy, heavy duty cleanup to do. Kids are kids. They're great. They're going to be the future leaders of our world. Um, and so it's, it's just fun to work with them and, and you know, try to instill um, values in these people that are you know, going to go out and lead us um, someday. Maybe the most gratifying, her and her husband Brett's four kids all went into education. It's really rewarding. Um, to be able to pass the love of education on to my children and to see them now um, kind of following in my footsteps. You didn't have this true, so they had this true, so on it. And Mrs. Bradfield isn't thinking retirement yet. No date in mind. Just um, like I said, I, I tell my students, you never work a day in your life as long as you do something that you enjoy. Like stay in your lane, stay in your kitchen. What the sweetener was, was the maple sugar. Yeah. I've always admired Mother Teresa and one of her saying that um, I just, I have it on my um, desk at, um, in my other classroom. It's about um, let no one come to you without leaving happier. And I try to live by that in my classroom, that I want my students to um, have fun in my classroom and to leave happy. In Sioux Falls. Yeah. Take, yep. Give them to your friend. How about your next class period teacher? Eric Thorstenson, the okay, News Now. Good. Did I have you for personal finance? James' husband, Dr. Brett Bradfield, is the president at the University of Sioux Falls. And as always, if there's anyone that you think we should all know about, please send a nomination to news at dakotanewsnow.com. We'll be right back.